When Dark Phoenix released earlier this year, it was kind of in a weird place as they marketed the movie as a film that definitely was the end of the X-Men saga. However, there was still one more X-Men movie called New Mutants that was set to release, and it's been kind of in this development hell for a long time, and was delayed time after time again, being delayed again all the way into April of 2020. And if this film was set to be the final X-Men film, it just seems kind of weird that they keep delaying it rather than shelving it. But reports of what exists in this film's new cut that they've recently had leaked, things are getting interesting as to whether or not New Mutants might merge with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's talk about it. Agent Romanoff, you miss me? Oh yeah, Charles, we got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Your Highness. Captain, big fan, Spider-Man. So the first thing that's really interesting about this is if you just have followed the backstory and development with New Mutants, this film was dated to originally been shot way back a while ago and they've just gone through so many different developmental delays and reshoots along the way where they've really tried to change up the story and knit something differently together. Now recent reports are saying that it looks like the New Mutants has had a new edit to the film that removes all references to the previous X-Men movies, which is really interesting, especially because this film was set in the X-Men universe. This was the last film set to release that Fox was producing before the Disney acquisition and is was in production way before all of that happened. So to see that they're now subtly dropping Everything that this movie was kind of a culmination of or a lineage of is really interesting. Now, of course, there's a ton of speculation floating around that the reason they're removing all of the references to the X-Men movies is because they want to give Kevin Feige, the president of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the one who makes the decisions as to what's going on, the opportunity to possibly take in New Mutants for Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe if he chooses to and if the film performs well enough. Now this is going to be really interesting because this would be a pretty unprecedented move. We haven't really seen any merges from previous universes or other established universes into the Marvel Cinematic Universe yet and it would be something very different. We saw with Spider-Man when they were able to collaborate with Sony that they made a brand new fresh Spider-Man for their universe and similarly it's looking like they want to reboot X-Men altogether, they want to reboot Fantastic Four and whatnot and it would be very different if they kind of brought in something that exists in its own universe and tried to tie it in together. However, this is kind of something that Marvel's facing moving forward because they do want to bring Deadpool in, which was something that was heavily talked about, that they want Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool to exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So how they're going to pull that off is still definitely up in the air, and we're going to have to see if New Mutants will follow suit and be its own self-contained film that's shoehorned into the Marvel Cinematic Universe universe. The interesting thing is if they decide to do that, it would be kind of interesting as it's the first appearance of X-Men characters in the MCU and we'd have to see if these actors would be willing to come back to do more movies in later phases. Now there's also other speculation that other universes would be able to merge into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. When the Sony Disney deal was heavily going on, it looked like there was even a possibility at some point that the MCU would have to accept Venom into their universe as part of the deal, and Venom's its own universe. So it's been a really confusing mess and the MCU's really going into uncharted territory with all these things that are going on. But would you like to see the new mutants featured in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Let us know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Do you think that them cutting things out and kind of leaving it in its own little self-contained universe would be a good opportunity for the Marvel Cinematic Universe to sweep in and include them? Or do you think maybe they should just let that franchise die and start fresh. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I'm Sorry about to. Hi everybody. Hey everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 see you guys.